Show of hands, who here is stoked for Ubuntu on tablets? <laughs> Just kidding, I can't see your hands. I'm in a studio and you're at home. That kind of interaction is impossible. I'll tell you about it anyway. By now, you've probably seen the Ubuntu OS running on smartphones, desktops, and TVs. You may have also seen us talk about it on the channel from time to time. But so far, the one Ubuntu OS that's been missing was the one for tablets. That is until today. This morning, Canonical unveiled Ubuntu for tablets, and much like Ubuntu for smartphones, the OS is, surprise, surprise, optimized for touch navigation with zero tactile button inputs. The UI is pretty similar to the one we've already seen for smartphones, with a few new bells and whistles thrown in to set it apart. The first being a mode called Side Stage, and if you've used Windows Snap View feature before, it may feel similar. With side stage, you can run apps in phone mode in a smaller window on the right. So if you're, say, Skyping with someone about a document you're working on, you can now work on it together using both apps at the same time on the same screen. Or as the promo video suggests, combine your smartphone, tablet, and PC all running Ubuntu into one giant operating system goulash capable of creating a user interface that looks exactly like a cluttered desktop you'd find on any other PC. The introduction of the tablet OS also means that since Ubuntu is the same across all platforms, something like an app developed for a smartphone will work on a tablet without having to be tweaked or ported. The Ubuntu OS for tablet preview will be made available to developers and enthusiasts on Thursday, February 21st. And for those of you keeping score at home, that just happens to be the same exact day as the smartphone preview. So, did the fourth pillar in Canonical's four screen experience sell you on the new OS, or are you sticking with what you've got? Let me know down below. And remember, we're taking questions for this week's tech feedback. If you have one for me or any, let us know down there too. And just like last week, if you send in your question on video and we use it on the show, we'll send you a free TechFeed t-shirt. Last week, we only had one person send in a video response for a shirt, so the odds of you getting one this week are pretty good. You just have to send in a video first. And as always, click that subscribe button. It'll make your day and mine a hundred times brighter. For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying I'll never get tired of saying the word Ubuntu. 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 I can never say it right. Oh my god! I, I say Ubuntu. It's Ubuntu. It's South African. African names. It's like Simba. Three, two. This morning, Canonical unveiled Ubuntu. Did I say it right?